what is it? It's, it's, it's not a, a virus. It's not a bacteria, is it? Yeah, smallpox is a virus. Oh, it is. And it's been with us a very long time. We can trace it back to pharaohs. I think there are four pharaohs that died of smallpox, and we can tell that from the mummies. And it's gone on throughout history to be the most devastating disease known to man. And does, does it mostly uh, affect humans, or are other animals also susceptible? Smallpox only can infect humans, so that in order to survive, it has to infect one human being after another. And it uh, transmits from person to person, really by droplets as you're talking, what have you there, go into the air, small droplets, and the pe- person right there uh, inhales them. How would I know that I had smallpox? Well, it usually begins with a very high fever and people feeling absolutely miserable. And then little pimples begin, and they begin to swell and pustules form. It's like having little boils all over the face and body, and you would know it with a rash. It's a very classical rash. So the fever could be anything, but the minute we see that rash, we know what it is. And if someone comes down with it, how much of a chance of survival would he have? Well, what we found is it's about uh, 7 out of 10 survive. That is, 30% of the people who get the disease die. And this has been true whether it's occurred, let's say, in a developing country or when it's been imported into a country with very good medical care. So do we know why? Is it because we just, some of us, have weaker immune systems? Or Uh, are there certain strains that are stronger? Yeah, most of the smallpox was a strong strain throughout Asia and into the Middle East. There was a little weaker strain in uh, Africa and uh, in South America in later years. But it wasn't the uh, virus, it wasn't the individual, but it was more the, the virus was the real problem. And those who survived, some survive, some do better with the disease than others, and it's... Uh, Before you were able to eradicate it, did you see any cases of smallpox personally? Uh, I certainly did. I saw an awfully lot of them. They are uh, really horrible uh, to look at. And particularly, uh, the patient is in pain. He can't eat, can't drink because he's got uh, pustules all over the inside of his mouth, sort of in agony, and uh, there's nothing much you can do. There's no treatment at all. So... It is uh, really a painful thing to see. So the only way you can really deal with smallpox is vaccination in advance of getting it. But once you get it, uh, there's a a 3 in 10 chance that you're going to die. That's right. And even today, there is no drug uh, that you can use that will be of any value. But it's being kept alive in some laboratories? It is present in two laboratories, one in Atlanta and the other in Novosibirsk in Siberia. But under a very tight uh, circumstance of control to make sure it doesn't escape. Now, why even save those samples? Well, it's a matter of dispute on this because I think there are uh, scientists who do say that we can't destroy this organism, my goodness, if we did who knows what we might want to use it for 30 years from now. Uh, there are others who say, well, the best-run laboratories have escapes of, of viruses, and so why not destroy it? So I must say I'm on the side of destroying it.